Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Ian here, and today we have a whole bag of assorted Mexican candy. Let's get into it, shall we? 42 pieces in here, but I'm not reviewing all 42 pieces, simply because that would take too long, and I do not have an endless amount of time. Anyway, without any further ado, let's open this up. Alright, first thing here, we have the uh, Swinkles Salsketti. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't really know how this operates. We got it open. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> that is so freaking interesting. Eat one of these by himself. I like that. I dropped a rash bottle. That's pretty freaking good. All right, we got this weird uh, stuff here. I don't know what this is. Assuming that we're supposed to put it on here. It's got a very uh, bitter flavor. Like, it's very bitter. Put a little bit of that on there. Huh. Gives it a little more spice. Kind of tastes like a, dare I say it, like a Taco Bell, like, mild sauce packet. It's pretty good. I'd rate that probably an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, that's pretty good. All right, next one. Be looking here. All right, we got the uh, Pulperando, or Pulperindo with a real fruit. God, I can't hold things properly. <laughs> probably gonna be good, hopefully. Watermelon flavored. Let's hope it actually tastes like watermelon. Let's clear our palate real quick. Can't be doing reviews if we don't cleanse our palate here. It's got an interesting smell to it. Not exactly a bad smell. It's kind of an odd. All right. That's what it looks like. Got this white powder on it. Mm. That's a little suspicious. All right, here we go. That's like Laffy Taffy. If Laffy Taffy was good. I rate this a 9 out of 10. Simple. If I had a whole bag of these, I would not stop munching them. There's a slight... Like, there's a very mild tanginess to it. it like, it's very mild. Like, it's really just, like, you wouldn't notice it if you weren't paying attention. I see what we got next. I don't know. I rate that a 10 out of 10, though. Or 9 out of 10. All right, we got these little got chewing gum. Violet flavor. I don't know how something can be violet flavor, but okay. God damn, this is really hard to open. All right, about our teeth. We're good. We're through these. It's an interesting flavor. I can't quite put any, like, name to it. It's kind of like a very light grape flavor. Like, like, <laughs> it's like 95% gum and just like 1% grape. They're very interesting. I rate that, uh, probably about a 6 out of 10. Because it's got a grape flavor, but it's not really, like, you know, pronounced. Right. This one looks spicy. Picoritos. I have, I'm butchering the names. I don't actually know what it's called. I can't tell if it's one big one or two, like, together. It looks like a double pack. So we're just going to split them apart. I'm only going to eat one of these because <clears throat> this is probably going to be spicy. Something about it just probably because it's red. I don't know what flavor this is supposed to be. And it doesn't say it in English. So. For all we know, this might be just the spice stick. It's got a little more spice than the uh, pulverinos. Whatever it's called. But all in all. It doesn't really taste that much different. A lot of chili powder. I'm assuming that's what this red stuff is. Oh no, that's pretty good. Right, that? Probably a 6 out of 10. No. A 7 out of 10. That's because it's kind of a fruity, kind of more spicy flavor. We got a lollipop here. The mango shape. Hola. Uh, I don't know what that other word is. But it's mango flavored. Hopefully. Chili powder. Hmm. I don't know if it's all... Chili powder is really starting to get to me. Oh my god. I bet throw it a little bit. It does have a little mango flavor. Oh no. I rate that. Um, let's see here. That's probably seven as well. Not great. Not terrible. All right. We're going to go reach into our bag here. So I was going to eat the thing that I picked out while I was doing that. But I... All right, here. We got another one. We got a, one of these thingies. A Pelle, um, Pelon Mini. I really need to learn Spanish. Maybe it's four. We're going to brush up our palate here. 
I don't know what the uh, ideal uh, consumption is. I do oh. I oh I do have a spoon. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I don't know how to open this. There we go. All right, we got this little stuff here. How am I supposed to do this? Hmm. 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 This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> I don't know if it's been sitting out in the cold too long or what, but this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay. Well, that's all we're getting right here. Hmm. That's pretty good. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Except for the slight fact that that was a little, actually a lot difficult to do. So, because it was so difficult to do, I'm going to have to drop that down to a 6. So I shouldn't need, like, a whole, like, army to push down a freaking candy. Alright, next one. Alright, a, uh, pulper, uh, parindo, um, with a mango. I guarantee I'm going to like this one. Let's get that ripped open here. A lot of chili powder in this one. Pretty interesting. Well, not chili powder. Mm. Oh, wow. That tastes like a mango tea. But, like, better. This right here. The mango... Pulperindo, or whatever it's called. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hands down. I could eat 15,000 of those. I'd probably die. But, that. 10 out of 10. Alright, next one. Got another lollipop here. Pina Loca. I'm assuming this is pineapple flavored. All right, here we go. That's a 9 out of 10. That's bussin'. <laughs> that is... That is delicious. That's a 9 out of 10 right there, straight up. If I didn't have more candy review, I would just, I would just continue eating this. That is a 9 out of 10. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. We've got another lollipop. Pika Peppino. This one looks like it's going to be spicy because it's got a little chili pepper. You see that? It's got a little chili. Where's the chili? It's got a little chili pepper right there. Focus. Okay, it's focusing on me. I mean, I guess that's, that's the idea. That's why I spent money on it. It's got con chili. <laughs> but this ain't too spicy. <laughs> This is interesting. This tastes like cucumbers. I probably like cucumber is in Spanish. Hmm. <laughs> I like this one too. It really tastes like a cucumber. You just took a whole cucumber and you compressed it into a candy. And this is it. This is the result. It tastes more cucumber than spice. That's a 9 out of 10. I like that. I found lost track of how many we're reviewing here. All right, let's see here. Oh, we got a little power. Salt and lemon powder. <laughs> what the heck is? Do you see that? That is crazy. Salt and lemon powder. Is this like a seasoning for something, or is this? Do you just put it on your tongue? I, it doesn't really say. I don't feel like this is a candy. Here, we'll try it. We're gonna have to get the little spoon again. There we go. This looks illegal. 
It's literally, it's literally a. That can't be a candy. Who would like that? Ah. Hmm. Why? Absolutely. <laughs> That's a one out of ten. Hmm. That can't be. Can't that cannot be a candy? Who would actually enjoy that? God. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I think we have another one of these. Son of a biscuit. I think this one may have chili powder. We'll review this one too. Why not? Oh, it does have chili powder. Yes. All right. The spoon of... Where did I put my dang spoon? The spoon of... You know what? Maybe... Maybe you're supposed to put that on something else. Because I can't figure out why I would have just enjoy it by itself. There we go. It's literally a it's literally a little bag of seasoning. You can't you can't really oh god. That's not a candy either. That is literally a bag of seasoning. Right here. All right, we got an original pulverino with real fruit. I don't know what's in here. Oh, tomato. Is it just tomato? This thing's got tomatoes in it and stuff, fruits and shit. Let's see how this is. So the seasonings are at... Uh, the regular seasoning, the salt and lemon one, is at tier uh, level one, and I the one with the one with pepper in it is a little better. All right. Anyway, on to this one. It's a very odd flavor. This I can imagine is what like. Dried up ketchup tastes like. Like if somebody would try to make a fruit roll up out of ketchup, this is what it would be. I say I, I give this a five out of ten. I would enjoy it if I didn't have any other options, but I wouldn't be seeking this out before anything else anything that's like six or above anything that is six and above i would definitely have before i would have it okay what do we have here we have a rockaletta <laughs> this is gonna be interesting actually four layered mm. we're gonna save this for the next one next review so that is going to take too long to get through. All right, we can go down deep. Feel something. It's going to be interesting. Oh, it's one of these things. The Lucas Mocha. Uh, yeah, I. Candy flavor. Chamoy flavor. What is chamoy? Like, what is that exactly? Is that like a spice or something? I was not ready for this review, if I'm going to be honest. But I did bring a little tool here, of course. Oh, son of a biscuit. I just try. Oh. Yeah, I almost accidentally hurt myself. <laughs> okay, this is a little more complicated to unwrap than I thought it would be. <laughs> this is really putting up a fight. We got it, finally. I have no idea what Chumboy is, so we're going to have to try it. So this thing comes off, just like that. Got your little lollipop thing. 
a little bit of spice to it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if I got a little spice, not a little spice thing on the, uh, somewhere I wasn't supposed to, but like, my one side of my throat's like burning up right now. Hmm. That's been a one time thing. This is a little spicy. I don't know if it's the uh, spice that's, uh, I don't even know what kind of spice is in here. Could be anything. It definitely gives it a kick. If I were to rate this, I'd rate this up about a seven. It's enjoyable, but it's not something that I would actively seek out. Well, with that, that concludes this video. Um, I think I have a little bit of items left for next time. But anyway, if you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.